Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you what you can do if you're having problems with one of your Nintendo DS, 2DS or 3DS game cartridges. So at the moment I've got a game cartridge inserted in here but yet it's not recognising it at all. And if I try a different one, you can see that it recognises it. I'm just going to try one more. And yet, when I try this one, the littlest pet shop, it doesn't recognise it. You can see there, there is nothing inserted into the game card slot. So I'm going to show you a way that will hopefully fix that. Now obviously, if you're having problems with all your game cards, then it could be a problem to contact in here. So, if that's the case, just blow in there. Turn it upside down and knock it just in case a bit of dirt or dust has got in there. But if you're finding the problem is only with one game cartridge like this one here, then chances are you've got bad contacts here. I think the problem is, if you look really closely at it, you can see that some of the plastic little dividers in between the contacts looks like they've been a little bit crushed. So we've got some here that look a little bit wider than others and also these ones here look like they're being bashed. Now if they were bashed too much what could happen is the contacts from the actual Nintendo 2DS or DS or 3DS might not make a, a good connection with the gold contacts in there because if it's folded over ever so slightly it might stop it from making a connection. The other thing it could be is dirt as well. So if we were to compare that one to this one you can see that the one on the left is slightly cleaner than the one on the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a small object, so for example you could use a little needle and I'm going to just get some rubbing alcohol on a bit of tissue and I'm just going to wipe each of the contacts and also I'm going to try to straighten these ones out a little bit as well by just using a flathead screwdriver. Now ideally it would be great if the flathead screwdriver was the same size as the bits in between the dividers. So for example this one here if you have a look there, can you see that's roughly about the same size? So I'm just going to get a bit of rubber and alcohol on a bit of tissue and I'm just going to wipe each one of these down and hopefully that's going to clean them up and at the same time push the plastic dividers back into the right place as well just in case it is these ones that are stopping the contact from happening. And it's easy for these to go faulty because if you're a bit rough with them they can get damaged by just, you know, if something presses against them hard then it's going to damage them. So in the UK, basically, we would be using surgical spirit, but in other parts of the world, you'll probably know this as rubbing alcohol. Now, the good thing about this is it evaporates off, so we don't need to put much of it on, just a tiny little bit, and then if you leave it for five or ten minutes, hopefully it should evaporate off. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in the lid. And I'm just going to dip a bit of this tissue paper into it. There you go, you can just see I've soaked a little bit in the middle there. We don't need much at all, just this patch here. And now we're going to get the smallest flathead screwdriver we can, or if you can't find that, then use a needle, something like that, something nice and small. I can get right in between the contacts. So I'm going to rest the 40 game cartridge down there. I'm going to put that on top of it. You can just see the gold contacts through it. And now on each one I'm just going to rub down. It's going to take a while because there's quite a few contacts. Now it's best to use surgical spirit or rubbing alcohol rather than water because water could cause corrosion and make it worse. All right, so that's all of them done. I'm just going to go back and do them each again. Right, okay. So 
so already that does look a lot better but I've still got a bit of an issue with the plastic folded over on this one here do you see there it's definitely a lot fatter than the others this one here so I'm going to try and just bend that back into place I'm just going to use both screwdrivers just to try and flatten it out again If you have a look there, can you see all the dirt that's come off there? So ignore ignore that bit there, but look at all these little dots here. They, they were the bits against the contacts. So you can see I've got all that grime. So although it didn't look too bad, they were definitely tarnished. And I've got all that grime off it now. Well, I'm going to give that one more go now. I'm just going to fast forward through this bit because you don't want to see it again. Right, now I'm just going to dry it up and I'm just going to leave it for a couple of minutes just to let anything evaporate off it because I don't really want to put it into the Nintendo until it's all evaporated off. But that looks a lot better now. So if we compare it again to the one before, if you have a look now, can you see they both look pretty much the same and the good thing is rubbing alcohol is really cheap as well it's not expensive it's only a, a couple of pounds for a bottle so it's very cheap in the UK you can get it from Boots well, I'm just going to leave that now for a couple of minutes and then we'll plug it in and even on that last one I did just then you can still just barely see can you see just along here can you see the little marks again from the contacts. Right okay so I've left that now a couple of minutes and it all looks nice and clean and nice and dry so I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. There we go it's come up in this pet shop so let's do that a few more times Yeah. There we go. So I'm happy that's working now. So I don't know if it was the fact that the plastic was a little bit folded over or the fact it was a dirty contact. But either way, by just giving it a rub with a bit of rubbing alcohol and something nice and small, even a sharp knife would do it. Just rub it up and down the contact. You don't have to be rough. You can do it nice and gently. And then hopefully your game should start working again. That's it. So hopefully you found the video helpful. Hopefully that little trick will work for you guys as well. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.